Maggie May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we've taken a short road trip to an area kind of between Merritt Island and Vero Beach, Florida on the East Coast to Tony Robinson Memorial Park. And this is a, about a one mile nature walk along the river. And we'll give you some more details about it as we go along. But sit back and enjoy some real uh, Central Florida beauty. Thanks. Now this actually sets in a town called Wabasso, Florida, and it borders up against the Pine Island Bay. Mm -hmm. And it was not busy while we were there. It was a beautiful time to come. And uh, it is all free of charge. And it is very pet friendly. paths are nice. Uh, part of it looked like they could have been drivable paths, part of it weren't wide enough for it, and then it also had the boardwalk, which is amazing. Yes. This is a bee sanctuary that they've got there. They warn you about it so you don't get too close, but you can see them flying around. Yeah. And just in this, in the walk itself is about a one mile loop. And there's areas that are swampy, there's areas that are dry. The foliage is entirely different from one to the next. Yeah, it is. Uh, you see a lot of diverse uh, Florida. Yeah. Now the path comes down here and splits. We took the right hand side down here and then it comes back along the left. This was a little viewing area that had been constructed out there and lets you kind of get back into the hammock and see what all this really yeah, looks I like. I love how they do that. It was really, really beautiful. And all the, the arms of the growth make an arch like that over the waters. It's so, so pretty. We continued on back the path from there. There's all these areas too where you see it's like roots coming up out of the ground and they stand maybe a foot tall. And it must be for water collection when the water's standing and trying and to. The roots are dropping out of the trees the way they do out of banyans too. Yeah. But they weren't banyans. But yeah, there were a, quite a few of these wet areas, and we didn't see any gators or anything on this walk, which I was fine with, with Maggie. That's with right, that's right. You come to this point, if you turn to the left, you go on the uh, boardwalk, we'll take you there in a moment. We went to the right and went out on the pier. If you do have animals or small children with you, there are no side rails on this pier, so just be cautious. But it's very sturdy, very nice. And look at that sky. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect day. And when you get out to the end of it, as pretty as the view is looking out across that area, it's amazing. Looking, looking back, back yeah. at the land, it's just gorgeous. So we walked back on the pier. And you'll see that the the end of the pier goes down to the walkway and now we're going to go straight across over to the boardwalk my understanding is this boardwalk is kind of a new addition it hasn't been there all that long and it was really nice yes it was it was one of the longest straightest ones i've mm -hmm. ever been on and again you can look down in we did see some little crabs, but every time I went to shoot their picture, they'd scurry down the little holes. <laughs> so I didn't get a shot of those for you. But uh, just beautiful, peaceful walkway. I kept looking around thinking we were gonna see something down in there, but never did. We did see some fish jumping out of the water. Mm -hmm. Heard them anyway. Yeah. 
and this is just not like a little swampy area uh, but you can see that it goes out in different directions it has its own little little channels I don't think it's deep enough to kayak on. no I don't think it's kayakable <laughs> When you exit the uh, uh, boardwalk, then you're back on the path. And this circles back around to where the path split before. Like I said, it's only about a mile. It's just a short walk, but it's such a pretty, peaceful walk. If you're in the area, it's definitely worth your time to go take a look at it. And sometimes it's just nice to not have a long hike. That's right. And there were some flowers. Oh, it was yeah. it was the pretty. Flowers were pretty. So Kathy, what did you think about our time today at Tony Robinson Waterfront Park? I really like it here. It's a great break from the busy bustling of everything else that's going on right now here in Florida. It's just so peaceful. Yeah, especially when you can come someplace in the middle of January yeah. and peak tourist season. And we've seen a couple of people out on the trails, but it's been predominantly empty. It's been very nice, quiet, peaceful. Some and people walking their dogs. Yep. It's a great place to take the dog out. Yeah. Right, Maggie? She thinks so. <laughs> so with that, we hope you've enjoyed our video today. If you have, leave us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do that and ring that notification bell and that way you'll know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.